Hey guys, welcome back to Sharon's Nail Boutique. I'm your host Sharon. In this video, it's not a normal nail video, but I wanted to share with you guys some of the stuff that I received in the mail. And these are those like 16 pack decals. I got them in the butterfly wings, like the regular wings without the antennae in 16 different colors. And I had to cut off that edge there because as I was putting them back in, the sticker part got like stuck to the inside and like peeled off part of them. That's the only thing I hate about these packagings. These are my neon ones and it comes in six different neon colors. The blue, the coral, the green, the yellow, the pink, and I think purple. And then I got the butterfly wings with the antennae in the 16 different colors, which I'm about to show you really quick. Which colors? I love these ones so much. And then I got them in the clouds with the lightning bolts, with the stars and then clouds by themselves and then like a shooting star type and those are in 16 colors as well um i also took out some colorblind collection colors because i'm gonna do a sample of a nail design that i was inspired by nike air max the unicorn ombre sneakers they're like 200 dollars but they're so pretty. If I could find a picture, I'm gonna pop it in at the end so I could show you like where I got my inspiration from. But look at these colors in the decals, ladies and gentlemen. Like they're so pretty. I've actually already used a couple on a set. So yeah, and it came out really pretty. I don't know if you saw that video, but in my last nail video, those are the stickers. So I'm just showing you all the colors with the butterfly wings now with the antennae. They come in multiple different colors, 16 different colors to be exact. And there's other sites too that like sell different um, patterned ones, like not like one color, but they're like multiple colors. If that makes any sense. These are the silver holographic ones, so pretty. Some of them were stuck together, so I had to kind of like peel them apart. That's probably just from the heat. And this is like the gold metallic. So pretty. I can't wait to use these on a long set. I might actually just use it on myself, honestly. I'm thinking of doing a set on myself tomorrow on my left hand using my, obviously, my dominant hand. It's so much harder to do your other hand, like your right hand, with your non-dominant hand. I can do it, but it's very difficult. It takes a long time. So it's a pain in the ass. But look at all these colors, ladies. Aren't they so pretty? I will leave the links for them in the description box below so that you can head over there and purchase some for yourselves if you'd like. I think the shipping on these were like 51 cents, 80 something cents. I tend to go for like the free shipping most of the time, but if something I see that I like a lot, I will definitely spend a little bit of extra money to get it. Um, depending on what it is and you have to be really really careful when you're putting these back guys because you see that how the like the sticker comes up when you're trying to like put them back in I struggle with these when it comes to that quite often so it took me a few times but I got them back in eventually that's the only thing that sucks about this packaging that's the only down side so far that I could say about I have not used the butterfly wings yet the clouds however those were really really good they went on really well um i don't have like those tweezers that you see everyone use when they put on decals so i tend to like use my nail to kind of get them up and place them down or i'll use like my um sometimes i'll use my scissors like my little scissors so these are some of the deco that I got and this is just a 12 piece like multiple different things um, this was one of the first ones I ordered and it came with triangles squares some feathers some little moons some North Stars so I'm showing you because those are some of the ones I was going to use in my design and then I got eight other packs of different decos so these have um, moons stars triangles and then these ones here have more of that like the bigger size ones squares multiple different size squares and triangles and circles and like different pattern ones then i ordered more of these 800 piece and the louis vuitton and the chanel 
you already know, you already saw the um, the bitch ones that I ordered. So I ordered the Louis Vuitton and the Chanel ones, and those are the 800 count, not the 100 count. So, and they're pretty affordable. I'll leave the link for all of these things in the description box below, guys. So these, I'm sure you guys have seen these quite often on some of the, the Instagram decoration nails and stuff like that. These are so good to put on the nail with like stones and stuff like that. You could even encapsulate these. Look at the squares and the hearts. I, I've seen multiple different designs with these um, decals, deco, alloys, whatever you want to call them. These are the moons and the stars, different shape. I'm just zooming in so you can see them a little bit better. Some are hollowed out. Some are just um, like diamond cut. Some are really pretty like see those squares with the ridges like just so pretty and then you have like the little bars and the diamond shapes in there and then you come back to these you have like the long rectangles the circles the ovals the hearts the teardrop shape and the squares and what's so cool about these like these half circle ones you put those at the top near the cuticle and you could do like so much different stonework with them they add so much flair and pizzazz to the nail it like you could never go wrong with stuff like this and they're super affordable like i think i for one of these i think i paid like one something and then even getting a bunch of them you're not gonna pay more i think i paid like under 15 bucks for like eight packs of random different shapes and i wanted to get some of the same ones but in multiple different sizes obviously and then more of these curved things see you have small ones for the pinky you have ones big for the thumbs so you can never go wrong with shapes like these and see i got them in like the medium size here and then i have them in the bigger sizes you can encapsulate stuff like that with like different color acrylics underneath it so it looks like you purposely did that they're just super cute guys like stuff like this takes the nails up to that extra level without going overboard you don't have to spend a lot to get that really cool looking design so these are more of those dried flowers um these are good for milk bath nails or like they're good for any type of nails with dried flowers but these are particularly really really good for milk bath nails which i just did a set today i wasn't able to record but i will share some pictures on my instagram which you could follow me if you're not already it's the same name at sharon's nail boutique so definitely go check me out if you're not already. I've popped my name right there up in that right hand corner for you. So you could definitely go head over and check me out and follow me if you're not already. I definitely will be honest and say that my Instagram is not as up there with followers as my YouTube is. But I'm trying guys, I'm trying. So these are my other decals that I ordered in really pretty colors. They're the Yves Saint Laurent with the Louis Vuitton in large size and a smaller to medium size. And this also comes in 16 different colors. The only thing that I noticed about these is that these seem to be like on waxy or like, I don't know, like the texture of them is different. It's like feels more plasticky. Um, the colors are definitely different and really, really pretty. I love how they look. This one in particular is really different, like a purplish green shift. It's different. See how it's like wax paper on the back? I'm not sure if these are better in quality or worse for that. I don't know. You can see the patterns here better. See the Yves Saint Laurent and Louis Vuitton. And there's just, it comes in 16 colors, like I said. And I will also leave the link for these in the description box below. I'm going to leave everything you see here. I will leave the links in the box below for you guys. Just in case you're like, you know what? Those look nice. I'm going to use them. So... I did not use anything in this video other than some of the small decorations and then the acrylic because I really wanted to show you guys just because um, I was really inspired to use some of these jewelries um, and do like a demo for you guys so you could see how some of these decorations can be encapsulated and if you watch how I do my encapsulation and how I lay my acrylic I'm not playing a lot when I place the bead, you'll notice that I play more and mold more on the sides than anywhere else. Once you place it, oh, these are the leaves and the little daisy and butterfly ones. And these also come in 16 colors. I got some of this tacky stuff, 
so when I get in my display tip things, I can use this to place the tips on it. So nothing special, just some of that fun tack stuff. This here is, I order my drill bits from Wilson on AliExpress, and a lot of them actually you get two for the price of one. Not all of them, but a lot of them you do. And these bits itself, these are medium, no, fine, and they're the safety, the small cone bit in the fine gold. And they're the 332nd standard drill size, shank size. And these are good for getting that back cuticle area nice and flush. I don't know if you've seen like Tony's nails, Tony nail art, but he uses those when he does the back and near the cuticle. I also ordered 50 piece, 150, 100 grit nail files in the 50 count from Sunshine. So excited to use these for the first time. This is my first time getting hand files from them. I do use their sponge buffers in the half moon shape, which are, I love. Um, I've never used their hand files though, so we will see. They look good from all appearances sake. Comes 25 in each pack. And I got these pretty fast, guys. A lot of this stuff that you see me showing you, I got pretty quickly. I'm actually really surprised because I've gotten one of my orders of glitter in and not the other one from Color World, which is a shocker to me because I actually got my second package before my first. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, but you live and you learn. So, once I get all this stuff put away here, I am going to get into doing the nail design for you guys. And I'm going to be doing a three-tone ombre. I'm using, I think this is Blew Me Away, Perry Twinkle, and... Teal of approval. Okay. Yeah, oh, teal. I'm blue. Blew me away. And Perry Twinkle. I love these colors, guys. Glam and Gliss color blend collection. This is the third color blend collection. There's a lot of like blues and purples and pinks, oranges and nudes in this one. I'm saving up for their other one, which is a 48 piece. I got the 24 piece, but the 48 piece is $645. Sorry about that. Excuse the noise in the background. So I just wanted to show you guys the names of those colors, just in case you're interested in getting them. These colors together are so, so pretty. This is a multi-mix rainbow iridescent glitter that I'm using because the sole of the sneaker, I'm also using the blue golden iridescent four point stars, just a few. The sneakers, I'm telling you, these sneakers are bomb. Like the whole sole was like an iridescent clear with sparkle, not too much though. And then the whole fabric of the sneaker was like ombre with like these three colors. So, so pretty. And I'm going to do the, to the best of my ability. I'm just going to zoom in here and to the best of my ability, kind of recreate the colors, how I kind of wanted to do them. I added a little extra flair with the jewelry pieces, obviously, but this one here is teal. I'm blue. So you just kind of push it out. See how I'm not really like playing with the top too much. I'm just kind of pushing that out to either side and pulling down, cleaning the sides. It was really, really hot in my nail room when I did this, so bear with me. It did come out a little thicker than I wanted to, but it's okay, because it's just a practice tip. I, it was just to give you guys the idea of where I got my inspiration from. Also, I'm using my number 12 Rainbow Holographic 100% German Kalinske nail brush. I will also leave the link for this if you're interested in the description box below. So I add another bit there and I pull down my side, pull, pull, pull through the center and then I'll pull the other side and then pull, pull, pull back to the center. So if you just, it's easier I think for me to show you than explain 
doing nails is one of those things that you just have to get the practice and you have to watch because that's how I totally learned how to do nails just by watching all of my practice comes from practicing on myself practicing on my daughters stuff like that but obviously with the practice hands that's even better so then I go into blew me away and I that's my second color so I start off with like a semi smaller bead push out side to side pull the side down center sometimes with ombres you don't have to pull down like both sides first sometimes it's better if you just do one side and pull all the way down until you get to the other side because your color blend comes out way better sometimes when you do that see what i'm doing and you see how it like came out like ombre through the whole thing sometimes if i pull down my both sides first your sides don't get ombre properly i don't know it's weird it's hard to explain but hopefully somebody out there knows what i'm talking about but you see how like if I pull down my one side first and then I keep blending all the way through the whole nail gets blended that's what I mean so now I go with my cuticle color and this is Perry Twinkle such a true true periwinkle color too now you see how I pulled down each now you see that that's what I'm talking about I pulled down my left and I pulled down my right and you see how the right didn't blend right So now I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to blend all the way through this time. Much better. And that's exactly how those colors looked on the sneaker. Isn't that pretty, guys? Can you imagine? Oh, I want those sneakers so bad. My husband hates them. He, he says they're ugly, but they're really not ugly. I really, really, really like them a lot. I said you could get them for me for Christmas. <laughs> I love colors like this together. It's just so, like, I don't know. It's, like, very, like, night sky-ish to me. I guess we're kind of missing some oranges and pinks, but I don't know. I'm a blue type of gal, like blues and blue-purples. And Now look at that. How pretty is that? And you can just stick it right into the wet acrylic. You don't need, like, anything extra. And, excuse me for a second, because I have to go into my clear and grab some of that glitter. Because I forgot to place some of that glitter before I put the jewelry down, which was totally my bad, guys. So I'm just grabbing some of that Rainbow Iridescent Multi-Mix in the Hexies really quick. Because this is, like, exactly how, like, that glitter looked. It wasn't Rainbow Iridescent, but it was more, like... Kind of like a golden kind of like the the four point star color iridescent like the silverish kind of blue goldy iridescent mix now i'm placing some of those stars and then we'll go in with some more moon pieces and when i place the clear acrylic pay close attention to how like wet my brush is and where i place them i think i do it in four beads but for beginners, it's usually easier to work in multiple beads because then you could get your nail basically perfect. I wouldn't suggest doing one ball methods until you're a lot more comfortable with your brush and your product. I'm going to let you guys watch the rest. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video and you liked all the stuff that I shared with you. If you're interested in any of these products, guys, you see how I just used a little bit of clear acrylic just to stick that down so it doesn't move anywhere. That way when I come in with my clear acrylic to cap, it's not going to move anywhere. Now I'm placing like that little, that little moon right there. But I think I end up moving it to the side somewhere because I just didn't. There we go. I place it over near that star just a little bit of clear acrylic but these are totally easy to encapsulate guys and just because my nail came on thick doesn't mean yours has to i just i really wanted to show you guys how this would look in its truest most beautiful form i needed a little extra color so it did come out thicker but i promise you this is just a practice tip this is not how i would do it on someone's hands so yeah this cap guys 
We're gonna pick up a bead. I just wanna show you how I'm dipping my brush and dabbing that on the side. So I dab out like half, like halfway up the bristles so there's a lot of liquid in there. I'm gonna grab a huge bead, wait till it polymizes a little bit. Place it right kind of like halfway. And then I'm gonna wet my brush again, kind of pat out and see how quick that dried. I was because my room was super duper humid yesterday. So I don't know why I decided to like grab a humongous ass bead like that, especially when it was super hot in my room. But yeah, even, even uh, professionals make mistakes, guys. So do not ever feel like, oh my God, this is only happening to me. My nails look horrible. Why do they look like this? Like, trust me, we've all been there and we still all have moments like that. So it doesn't matter how long you've been doing nails. See how I'm not playing with that top part though? I'm just letting it sit. Cause if you play with it too much, you're gonna pull off too much product. So grabbing another medium bead wet and pulling that down placing it pulling it down not playing with the top part guys once again not playing with the top part just pulling the sides and the center down making sure there's no air bubbles another medium wet bead now with the clear you can pull each because you're not blending a color so it doesn't matter if you pull down your sides first when it comes to the clear you just want to make sure that you're pulling down equal amounts of product down the nail so you don't want to leave one side clearer than the other side they should literally mirror each other you see how i'm perfecting my cuticle first and then i start pulling down my product that's going to give you that perfect shape every time i just add a little more to the free edge just a little wet bead See that nice and capped now when I come into file obviously I will fix the thickness you know because I wouldn't want the nails this thick obviously on someone's nails but this is the idea like you place your bead you don't mess with the top of it and you get that perfect shape every time it's gonna be thin at the cuticle flush your side walls are gonna be flush and most of that product is coming down the center where it should be because that's where your strength comes from. You don't want your side walls to be huge and bulky. That's why you're always going to be pulling from the sides first so that those can get nice and flush to the nail surface and most of your product is going to be coming through the center of that nail. And I'm just getting all the extra bits off the side. This is my medium grit gold alloy three thirty second shank and i got these as well in a two piece from wilson i'll leave these in the description box as well these drill bits i must say they're bomb bomb.com seriously now if my nail wasn't as thick as it is i would be done filing already but since i'm debulking it and getting a lot of that off obviously it's taking a little bit longer but the placement wasn't the issue it was just how much product i grabbed at first that's really what set it off in motion but i promise you if you place your beads the way i showed you you will have like very minimal minimal filing to do and i will do another video a more in-depth placement video because i know you ladies and gentlemen would like to see that as well so when i'm happy with how much i've taken off of the nail i will hand file it as well and i will also buff and go over with my dnd &D no wipe top coat i hope you guys enjoyed this video and have picked up some tips and tricks along the way any questions at all feel free to pop them in the comments below if you're new here and have not yet subscribed guys i would greatly appreciate it if you would i'm trying really hard to get to a thousand subbies so i could get this huge giveaway off the ground i'm really excited um 
you guys really really mean a lot to me and if it weren't for you i wouldn't be doing any of these videos it it means a lot to be able to share what i've learned with you guys over the last few years so yeah any like i said any questions comments constructive criticism feedback anything if you don't like the video please at least if you can let me know what you didn't like about it in the comments below that way i can work to improve my videos and fix what you guys don't like any suggestions feel free to pop them below if you want to do a collab i'm also interested in those as well any type of swaps anything like that guys definitely interested i'd love to share anything extra i have with you guys so yeah we will see you in the next one and enjoy the rest of the video and i will see you guys in the next one i love you all so much don't forget to like share if you can and definitely hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell turn it gray so you could be reminded every time i upload ladies and gentlemen bye Mwah.